top ranked boxing has a pretty solid card for us this weekend, uh, May 13th. We have two world title fights, both for the WBO belt, one in the bantamweight and one in the middleweight division. But before we get into those fights, I'm Alex and that's Christian. And welcome back to another preview video and I'm really looking forward to getting into this. Oh yeah, as Alex mentioned, top rank with a solid card coming up. Co-main event between, first fight is Jason Maloney versus Vincent Astrolabio. That is going to be for the vacant WBO World Bantamweight title. And then you got Zanabek Alim Kanuli versus Stephen Butler. That's for Zanabek's WBO World Middleweight title. Both, both solid fights, in my opinion. I think it's fair that this is a co-main event because uh, all due respect to both fighters headlining these fights, I think these fights on their own might not be enough to headline a card. So I, I think this is a, a good good card overall, the way they co-main this. Yeah, honestly, this should be a solid card. What is supposed to be the main event, Zonabek versus Butler, this should honestly be a pretty uh, easy fight for Zonabek. Everyone's mm -hmm. talking about how this really shouldn't be the main event. Um, and Jason Maloney versus Vincent Australabio. That's just really a big fight for this card. Yeah, and I think it I think it definitely is, even though we've seen Maloney when it comes to world title fights, specifically his last one, kind of get absolutely annihilated. But that, that's, he was facing pound-for-pound pound star Naoya Inoue. Against Astrolabio, much more game, of course. And I'm definitely kind of excited to see him potentially end up winning a world title. Obviously, he's challenging for a title that Inoue is letting go of. Uh, so he doesn't got to worry about Inoue anymore. That's that's good for Maloney. I'm, still, though, this matchup is interesting because Astrolabio, I think he's game as well, even though you see three losses in his resume. I think uh, him getting this opportunity right here, I think he's going to make the most of it. Uh, Maloney is not, it's not like he's a an indestructible type of fighter in his way. So this is very possible for Vincent. Yeah, it's very possible. And both guys are coming in pretty hot. Uh, like Christian said, three losses and two losses for Maloney. Maloney's two uh, losses are actually in world title fights. Juan de Emanuel mm -hmm. Rodriguez, which is actually a pretty close fight and a split decision. And then his other one was, like you said, to a, a new way, which was a pretty, pretty brutal knockout. But Asher Labio, he is on a six fight win streak uh, since 2018. That was his uh, last loss. So he's in pretty good form, too. So uh, this should make for a pretty interesting fight. Um, I still do think Maloney's got the upper, upper hand. I think he's uh, just better overall, like around at every single thing uh, when it comes to boxing. So um, I think this will be a probably a pretty nice step up fight for uh, Astro Labe, but I think Maloney's definitely the better boxer in this fight. Yeah, I would have to say I'm leaning towards Maloney in this fight as well. Just I think he's a more notable fighter, but it's boxing. I could be wrong, but what I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with a decision for Maloney. I don't think he's. I don't think he really. He's got the destructive power to put a guy like Astrolabio out. But I don't know. I think, like Alex said, cleaner boxing. I think that's what's going to be the key for Maloney, and I think he's going to execute. Yeah, I definitely can see this fight go uh, going forward a decision in Maloney's favor. Um, I just honestly think that Maloney's just going to beat him down, and then by the time he gets uh, to the end of this fight, he may uh, catch him at one point. So I honestly think that this may be a late stoppage in this fight. I think he may stop him in the 11th round or something like that. So I'll just say an 11th round stoppage for Maloney. Yeah. Uh, that's definitely very possible. He's got a pretty good KO percentage and 19 KOs and 25 wins. So I could see that happening as well. But uh, I'm going to stick to my decision. Hopefully, hopefully I'm right this time around. But I, I can't wait for this card overall. You also got Robson Conte Sal on the under, undercard. Looking forward to him returning. Obviously, you go, your boy Shakur cooked him but you know he's gonna be back in the ring and then i also saw that uh amado vargas i'm not sure if that's one of the vargas uh sons but if so that's another another interesting name on the undercard i think this is a solid undercard or excuse me solid card for top rank overall yeah it should be a really solid card honestly uh haven brady jr and brian norman jr are on the undercard too uh two really solid uh prospects right now so that could be something to look forward to and also and something to kind of also look forward to, uh, if Maloney wins this fight, his brother fights next weekend, uh, Andrew Maloney. So uh, he's fighting for a world title. Uh, so if they could possibly win back-to-back -back, uh, world titles uh, in, week, in both weeks, so that would be pretty cool. Um, and we'll be previewing that next week, so stay tuned for that. Oh, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. If you guys are as well, go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay tuned for those videos. But until then, peace. Peace.